In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Navina prays to St. Jude, O Lord Jesus Christ, who went on earth, did with a strong cry and tears, offered up prayers and supplications to your Father. Receive the offerings of the service, during which we desire to join our prayers to yours for these intentions. Can you mention your intentions? While keeping in mind to pray for the gift of rain and protection, and for the pandemic that we are all facing. We make this offering through Mary, your mother, and to Saint Jude Therese, your beloved cousin, for he is the helper in difficult cases. For their sake, accept our prayers and render them fruitful. Amen. O glorious apostle Saint Jude Thaddeus, patron of hopeless cases, who chosen by God to give testimony of the true faith, suffered all kinds of tortures, and in the end gave up your life, rather than deny your faith. Obtain for us a faith strong as yours, and like you make us ever ready to confess it with joy, so that we will die rather than deny it. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, blood is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to your Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Jude. Pray for us. O faithful Apostle Saint Jude Thaddeus, beloved cousin of our Saviour, by the admirable courage with which you sacrificed your life, sooner than fail in your fidelity to the true God and true faith, obtain for us a grace to be always faithful to God and to the Church, in all our duties, so as to merit a share of glory in heaven. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, God is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to your Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. O fervent apostle Saint Jude Thaddeus, whose only desire was to please God in all things, obtain for us the same desire, that inflamed with the same fervor we may spend all our life in working out our salvation, that purified by the fire of tribulation, we may be entitled to an eternal crown of glory in the kingdom of God. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, blood is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. Let us pray. O God, who to the blessed Apostle Saint Jude has brought us to the knowledge of your name, grant that we may celebrate his eternal glory by making progress in virtue and by perpetuating the glory we may advance in sanctity to Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Matthew. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a feast for his son's wedding. He sent his servants to call those who had been invited, but they would not come. Next, he sent some more servants with the words, tell those who have been invited, look, my banquet is all prepared, my oxen and fattened cattle have been slaughtered. Everything is ready. Come to the wedding. But they were not interested. One went off to his farm, another to his business, and the rest seized his servants, maltreated them, and killed them. The king 
was furious. He dispatched his troops, destroyed the murderers, and burnt their town. Then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready. But as for those who were invited, proved to be unworthy. Go to the main crossroads, invite everyone you can find to come to the wedding. So the servants went out onto the roads and collected together everyone they could find, bad and good alike, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. When the king came in to look at the guests, he noticed one man who was not wearing a wedding garment and said to him, How did you get in here, my friend, without a wedding garment? The man was silent. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him into the darkness outside, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. For many are invited, but not all are chosen. This is the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus uses this parable of the great banquet to give a message to the scribes, the Pharisees, that God's plan will not fail by them rejecting God's invitation to repent and to believe. Nonetheless, the message comes to each of us even today as we partake in a Eucharist or a Novena or any prayer we make to God. Upon rejection of Jesus, an invitation was sent to the Gentile world. And this invitation was accepted heartily, readily, with respect and responded with due reverence. Jesus is the bridegroom of the humankind. He has become one body with it. All those are with the wedding garment, living a good life in this world, life of justice, honesty and trustworthiness. The Spirit of God will not only transform them, but be with them and raise them from the dead, and they will enjoy eternal banquet. Those chosen ones who do not have this wedding garment will be rejected at the banquet of God. We need to ask ourselves today, am I with the wedding garment to enjoy the banquet of God? Prayer to St. Jude. Most holy apostle St. Jude, faithful servant and a friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered the beloved master in the hands of his enemies, has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as a patron of hopeless cases, of things despaired of. Pray for me, who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of the particular privilege accorded to you, to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in the great need I may receive, the consolation and succor of heaven, in all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, that I may glorify God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Saint Jude, to be ever mindful of great favors, and will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you Amen. Pray for the sick. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall get well. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of a tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church, to Christ our Lord. Amen. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the will, the merit and intercession of holy apostle St. Jude show us favor and mercy. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. St. Jude, pray for us. And, and for, for all, all who invoke your aid. aid. Apostle of Jesus, a martyr, saint of all, a cousin of our Savior, of whom thy love hath shown, a writer of the scripture with tongues of fire aflame, the worker of great wonders in Jesus' holy. Thank you. 
Saint Jude the walked for hold him, thou shalt remembered be. We hail thee now in glory, and have recourse to thee. Your help for the despairing, when hopeless seems the task, and from the heart of Jesus, through thee our favors us. In sickness, strife, and sorrow, when fears the tempest proves, our confidence now strengthen, and ask for grace is new. When crosses press our shoulders, and fear leads to despair, then listen to our petition, sing Judah.